Hi, everyone. Well, has he finally done it? Has Trump finally jumped the shark? According to the Urban Dictionary, I have to read this, something is said to have jumped the shark when it has reached its peak and begun a downhill slide to mediocrity and oblivion. The show that birthed the phrase, Jumping the Shark, Season 5 of Happy Days, showed the Fonz literally jumping over a shark, which left all the critics scratching their heads, people wondering, are they nuts? Have they run out of material? Is this the end? Well, that's why I bring this up. Now, according to people in legacy news, they're starting to see that he's slipping and not in a good way. During a recent rally in Las Vegas, he was quoted as saying, I don't care about you. I care about my I care about your votes. Nice. He didn't say some nice things either, just one lie mm-hmm. after the other during his little rally for his birthday in Marlago, outside Marlago. And then when he met with his quote unquote billionaire CEO friends in Washington, DC, nothing like returning to the scene of the crime, that basically they were all saying. He was meandering. That's the direct quote. He was meandering. Imagine meandering, nonsensical word salad. <sighs> All I can think of is put a sneeze guard on that. But anyway, um, he's lost it. And the reason that my guides, oh, by the way, I'm Arthur, Arthur, ease your mind. I'm an intuitive consultant and psyche advisor. And what my guides keep on showing me is that the man is terrified. The man is scared. The man whose name not, name shall not be mentioned is scared because July 11th is around the corner. And that's the date of his sentencing. You know, when he was convicted for 34 felonies. And then a couple of days later, we have the GOP convention in the quote unquote horrible city of Milwaukee. His quote, not mine. I think Milwaukee is a wonderful town. And then he's got on the 27th, the debate with President Joe Biden. Now, he's the one that opened the door to the debates. But what I keep on getting from my guides is, I don't know if there's going to be a debate. I really do not feel the debate's going to happen. If it does, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be one lie after the other. He's going to try and get... the biden on the defensive biden is will be cool as a cucumber and he's a scorpio and he will sting especially if the man starts trying to follow him like he did you know stalking hillary clinton during that debate that was ugly but really i feel that trump is going to do such a thing such a way and put it all in biden that he's going to get out of the debate he's scared he's scared all right now, we've got lots of great questions from everyone, so let's get to it, especially with Trump political predictions and insights. Now, CS asks, will Trump actually debate Biden on the 27th? If so, what will be the outcome for both? Thank you. I don't feel it's going to happen, but if it does, Trump, zero, Biden, 97. Points, not age. Okay, I do feel that if they debate, Biden's going to mop the floor with this guy. And of course, he's going to say he's the best thing since sliced bread. Well, actually, Betty White is. But it just he's going to go on and on and on with one lie after the other after the other and not be a gentleman about it all. Well, he's never was a gentleman where Mr. Biden is or President Biden. Sorry. So another question. Right Striker asks, could it be true that 45 is still buying polls? Yes. You don't need to be a psychic to know that. Look at the polls. In fact, the one the other day was that everyone was freaking out because on CNN. Why? Because it showed that all black men are now voting for Trump. That his approval rating is just as high for black men as Joe Biden. I don't believe it. In fact, when I pull cards on it and that I did pull cards on it, it said it was all fabricated. So I don't think you need to be a psychic to see that one. But 
they keep on putting it out there and putting it out there. And what happens? We all get nervous and crazy. Stop. It's not going to happen. I don't believe these polls at all. Now, John White asks, Arthur, who will Trump pick as his VP? Well, I know that he's been putting out letters and they've been vetting people like Marco Rubio and J.D. Vance. And I don't know about the girl that shot dogs, but that's one of the story. But when I look at it, my guides keep on telling me who he really wants to be his VP. Besides, the clone isn't ready yet. So who would he pick? That's right. You guessed it. Hannibal Lecter. He's done talking about him. And he calls him the late Hannibal Lecter. So maybe he thinks he's dead. But doesn't he realize he's a fictional character? Yeah. Moving on. Getting it right asks, I wonder if Trump was able to negotiate having his probationary drug test at home. You know, he will find a way to cheat. I wonder if he's less coherent because he's cutting back on his drugs to pass his drug test. Thanks, Arthur. Please and thank you. Well, getting it right. I know. The first thing I thought of when they said it was going to be virtual, I was like, how's it going to do a pee test? And just the idea of the man peeing in a cup. Please. I don't want that image in my head. And I don't know. Whatever was done is done. But I like this one from T. Lynn. Will any of the 45 case judges order drug testing or psych evaluation for him? Well, the drug testing, I think, is part of the probationary, probationary hearings. But as far as psych evaluations, you know, the one person who can also issue a psych eval is the probationary officer. And I really do pick up that in time, she's going to say, he's ready for the puzzle house or the rubber room and get him tested. And it's going to be more than dog, man, gorilla, elephant, whale. So it's nuts. Now, the other thing that really gets me is when Trump goes, everyone's out for him. Let's play victim. As I tell my victim clients, get off the cross. We need the wood so we can build the bridge to get the hell out of here. But when he says Biden has this two-tier justice system rigged against him, you got to think about it. Now, he's a convicted felon. Now, according to what I, I'm not a lawyer, I don't know the law, but according to what I know or think I know, is that if you're a convicted felon, you're not allowed to have firearms. And apparently, Trump admitted to his parole officer, he has three. So, which leads to Teresa's question. Are the Democrats going to talk about the fact that while Hunter has been convicted of having a gun while using drugs, 45 is keeping a gun and he is a felon? The double standards go on and on. I know it's like everybody run, Donnie's got a gun. But um, I don't think he know how to use it. Uh, oh, God, never mind. I'm going to go there. But yeah, I believe that's going to be taken away from him. Okay. I don't feel he's going to be walking around with concealed weapons or having guns in his possession. Let's hope not. So if you guys hear anything about it, please let me know. Okay, from what I can tell, they're going to take him away from him. That's what my guide said. Now Cheryl asks, will Melania stay married to Trump when he loses the 2024 election or divorce him for another man? I believe the divorce papers are already in a file before they even went down the escalator back in the day. Seems like so long ago, but it wasn't that long ago. I believe she's just waiting. And the minute he's like, wherever he's taken, and he is not going to be the nominee for the Republicans, for one reason or another, the papers are signed. 
she's out of there. Okay. Next question. Nancy. Thank you, author, for your time, sweetie. It's always great seeing you again. Thank you. Melania has a cute, intelligent son. Is he the former 45's biological son? He doesn't look anything like him. Yeah, this kid. The next question. Do you see Baron Trump doing something good in the world? Not to be too pithy, I think he just subsides and goes into the background. Like, kind of like Tiffany. It's a good thing. But Tiffany did marry a true billionaire. And they didn't lend Daddy any money when he needed it. Tea Garden Chicken. What do the Secret Service agents think of Trump? Got the idea for this question from another chat. It was not answered. But intrigued me. And it intrigued me too. When I look at this, it's like they kind of know what was going on, but they don't, but they do, but they don't. One of those like, it's our job. Keep your mouth shut. It's a job. Look the other way. That's how I read it. Now, the other thing that has everyone rallied and going crazy is SCOTUS. Now, we're coming to the end of June. And it seemed like SCOTUS is waiting to the very last minute to say if Trump has immunity or no immunity. Or 100% blanket immunity on anything he did as president. What I keep on reading here is he's not going to be given immunity. If there's any little wrinkle that maybe Alito or Thomas give him or Kavanaugh, what I get here is anything that he's being convicted of for the January 6th insurrection by Jack Smith in D.C. court with Judge Chutkin, he's not immune to any of that. Okay? So I do feel they will make the announcement, and I do... I don't feel they're kicking it down to another court. I feel they've crossed their T's, dot their I's on this one. They shouldn't have taken it in the first place, but they've got ego, so of course they took it. And um, the way I'm reading this is we can start a trial for the January 6th insurrection against citizen Trump. I feel by the end of September and October. I've said that before. So we'll see what happens on that. doesn't mean it'll be resolved by election, but I feel that the trial will start in September and October. And that's when I feel if he's not in the rubber room by then, he'll shortly soon will be afterwards. And that's when he really does a nosedive. Now, Deborah Gladowski, Yakshi Panima. The ban on bums, bump stocks for guns lifted. When will the mass killings begin? This is criminal of the SCOTUS to have done this. Yes, it is. But you know what? They are going to have blood on their hands. And if you read, the, if you read the rebuttal by Elaine Kagan, it was scathing. And the next mass shooting there is, it's all going to go back to the Supreme Court. Now, what I do feel here is, as we get into the new term with President Biden, some of these judges are going to go bye bye. There's going to be, they're going to have to resign. Either that or face some legal issues for what they've done. So we'll see what happens on that one. Roxanne. Thanks, Arthur. Was Martha Alito involved in January 6th, too? Was she working together with Ginny Thomas? What a lovely pair of ladies. Yes, it's a new show on Bravo called The Real Housewives of the Supreme Court Justices. Not. Uh, I don't think they're working tandem, hand in hand. Besides that, I don't think Ginny wants to share whatever she's doing with anybody else and take her credit. Martha Alito is just...
when if you heard that interview she gave to that woman about i'm german and i get revenge and about the pride flag and she wants to you know and put a hate flag up or whatever against it not a nice person i believe she was sympathetic to january 6th i think she's thinks she can get away with anything because of who her husband is But was she working with, together with Ginny? No. But Ginny's in for a rude awakening because she's going to be named as one of the co-conspirators in the January 6th. If not, there are going to be other charges brought against her. And I feel that actually, in addition to the co-conspirators in the January 6th trial, afterwards, I get, my guys keep on telling me there's 180 to 200 names the follow on another indictment. Smith once gets this one done first. And then he's got, you know, <sighs> all the secrets being sold in the, uh, in Mar-a-Lago. It just doesn't stop. Oh, and Judge Cannon will be going away. So, Elizabeth asks, what is the future of unions over the next 10 to 20 years? SCOTUS just ruled in favor of Starbucks versus the NLRB, National Labor Relations Board. Now employees can be fired for trying to unionize and not be reinstated. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos also have cases coming up against the National Labor Board Relations Board or National Labor National Labor labor relations board i'm sorry i sound like elmer fudd again to try to damage unions are unions going to lose power over the next couple of decades no they're not in fact they're going to gain some power don't forget president biden is the first president to ever stand with union members on the on the line he knows what unions how they created this country how they made this country great so he says based upon his father and the way he's worked with unions all his life. Unions are not going to be tossed to the side. What I do feel is in the next administration, Biden administration, after 2025, that there will be new rules put in place by Congress that will overrule whatever the Supreme Court had to say about unions. Okay. It'll be strengthening our country is how I read this. Don't come at me. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Okay. Now, Lady Day 5817. Greetings, Arthur. Will Jack Smith replace Mayor Garland as AG in 2025? No. No. He's got too much to do. I mean, the man's going to be busy until 2028, 29, just getting things sorted out from January 6th. All the um, the paperwork from Trump and in Mar-a-Lago and everything else. Plus the other people he's going to be going after. Like Shrom asks, well, when will GOP leaders involved in the insurrection start getting subpoenaed for January 6th involvement? Will they include um, Josh Hawley, Matt Gates, who's really in trouble now. They're just continuing with the sex stuff and uh, the ethics Ron Johnson or Jim Jordan or MTG, my tragic girlfriend. Actually, I'm not going to call her my tragic girlfriend anymore. Mm -mm. I'm going to call her MTG. No, I did not say MTG. I said empty G, like an empty, like an vapid empty G. Okay. Empty girl, whatever you want to call her. That's what I'm calling her, MTG. So they're all going to get in trouble. They're all going to get the notices, and I feel as soon as Jack Smith starts the January 6th trial, surprise, okay? And of course, they're all going to be like, this is wrong, this is not me, uh, and throw everyone under the bus. But then, jitterbug ass, Jack Smith will eventually subpoena the GOP for January 6th. Will any or all ignore and not respond to subpoenas? If so, will they get arrested? They're going to get arrested. 
I get two of them. The other ones they're gonna they're going to kick and scream, but I don't think they want to end up in the cell next to Steve Bannon. And Jim Jordan, he's in trouble. It's already been over 700 days if he hasn't, you know, followed through on his original subpoena. So he's going to catch up to all of them. And don't forget, all these people ask for pardons. Innocent people do not ask for pardons. Just saying. Jorm, when or do you see any special elections to replace the GOP con congressional openings created by Jack Smith's final phase of cleaning out this country's maggot infestation? And what measures will the U.S. take when the full role of Putin and whoever el else or countries are exposed? Blah, 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 blah. Bottom line, people. People are going down. Seats will be open. Democrats step in. Hakeem Jeffries will be our Speaker of the House. And I keep on saying before the election. Now, I did say that Ron Johnson, would, Ron Dunn, sorry, Mike Johnson, just as bad, but that Mike Johnson Moses would be stepping down by the end of May, that they would get rid of him. I was wrong. There was hope, but it looked like he was going to leave, but a Hail Mary pass went to him. I still feel he's losing it. Okay? I don't see him around for the next four months. So we'll see what happens. User RW 45 would not have been a major problem without his base. They missed the critical thinking class and the memo on how to spot a con. What's to become of this nation if we keep cracking out illogical people? What can be done? Education. Pure and simple. Education. Getting the church out of our public schools. I mean, my parents sent me to Catholic school. They paid extra money for that. Now, these people want to be able to go to public school and make it into their church school. That's not pub That's not serving the public. That's only serving them. And um, I feel that there's going to be changes made. But as I've always said, unfortunately, all these people are homeschooling their kids. And they're not critical thinkers. They're just critical. Mm. I don't tell. But I see, I mean, I'm not Pollyanna by any stretch of the imagination, but I see things changing for the better. All right. There you go. Now, Catherine asks, Aloha, Arthur. Will Biden's team soon win this propaganda war that is undermining his run by defeating the outright lies by Trump's MAGA spelled M A G A? ng Matt gang well it's already started now what i was saying at the end of last year is that as we get to the end of spring into summer that biden was going to come out swinging and have you seen the brutal ads that they've been putting out there i'm not talking about lincoln project i'm talking about biden's people themselves they're scathing and they're thought-provoking and they are going to be going more and more and more to the megaphones saying these are lies. But not just saying these are lies. Showing how they are lies. Proving it. Because unfortunately these people believe, they've heard something so many times they believe it's the truth. You have to deprogram them. And they will be deprogrammed. De Opti student. Are there committees behind the scenes rewriting the constitution right now so that joe can hit the ground running when he is reelected. close those loopholes love you Arshan. thank you they're not rewriting the life they're not going to rewrite the constitution what they're going to be doing is shoring up amendments shoring up things in language so that there can be no other interpretation than what it really is like with immunity you don't have immunity and the story you're insurrectionist and the story here's the definition whatever branch of the government you're working in you're an insurrectionist you cannot hold office period 
those kind of things. So I believe that's being worked on and it will be continue to be worked on. And it's only going to make our constitution stronger. You know, that piece of paper that Trump wants to get rid of so he can be a dictator, which is scary. Now, Rose Quartz, I love your name. Will Trump be the Republican nominee or will they replace him with someone else? How will the horrible Milwaukee convention go? I've always said he may still be on the ticket, but not cross the finish line. Okay. And how will the convention go? Well, I got some pictures of it, of a, a preview. So let me know what you think. I feel it's going to be crazy. Only thing missing are the elephants and people with sawdust chasing after them to clean up. But that's that's my artist rendition of the convention. Now, Cheryl asks, will there be violence when the November elections are taking place? Will we be able to identify and fend off attempts at cheating? Um, I feel all eyes are going to be on this, for the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I, I'm i not really seeing as much violence. I mean, little pockets here and there of just protests of, you know, of wackadoodles. But, um, you know, Annie Welks and her people. But, you know, it's it's going to, it's still, we're, democracy is going to survive okay and it's up to us to vote which i know you're sick of hearing me say that but it's true but it's up to us to, for it to survive and it will now brinkley asks surely the moneyed entities behind the frump a dump felon former guy cult leader know the reckoning is nigh so have they identified their next messiah for circa 2028 or beyond, or who it might be, given they play the long game, unlike Dems. Well, I think the Dems are now starting to play the long game. They've just not been talking about it, number one. Number two, I think they have, well, first it was a golden calf, which then turned into the golden toilet. So I think they have to melt that down to figure out who the next god is going to be for them. So, Joanne asks, what is, so to answer your question, I don't think they have somebody in line. Again, that bucket full of crabs. They're all fighting each other. No one's getting out. Joanne asks, what is the best way forward during the right wing tilt to current affairs? Get the truth, find out the truth, get real liable news sources, stay away from social media, don't try to argue with your crazy uncle. You're not going to win. Just state fact, but don't argue. And turn the TV off sometimes. Don't listen. No one want your heart. Okay? Now, here's a scary one. Project 25. John Holden asks, does the MAGA idiots understand how dangerous Project 25 is? And thank you for another solo show. We like your collabs, but love your solo shows. I like my collabs too, and do like my solo shows when I do them. I'm going to get them up and running. Oh, by the way, it's Monday. And unfortunately, this is going to have to do some editing. I've got a private show tonight. So it'll probably go up on Tuesday. Sorry so much for saying Sunday. I'm not a liar. I'm just don't know how to tell time. Project 2025 is really scary. It's insidious. The bottom line is they want to make the president the king. Everyone bows to the king. Congress, Senate, Judiciary, the DOJ, everyone has to follow the rule of the king of Trump. How fun is that? But the one thing is you always hear the Republicans want to get rid of Medicare. That's part of Project 25, 2025. 
and they've already started. In fact, it was President Bush that actually started it when he announced a little thing called the Medicare Advantage Plan. Medicare Advantage is not Medicare. It's not connected to the Medicare office whatsoever. Medicare can't even advertise. They have no budget. Yet Medicare Advantage is private insurance. And they have lots and lots and lots of money to advertise and confuse people. So when you hear Medicare Advantage, you think, oh, that's Medi it's a it's for Medicare. It's not. The reason why they want to get rid of Medicare is so they can privatize everything. And they're cronies and all of their friends can make money off of it, off of your suffering. Now you turn 65, you get Medicare, you go through hoops a little bit, but you got Medicare. What they're planning on is you turn 25, they assign you to an insurance company with an advantage plan, not of your choosing. And that's it and take you out of Medicare. Now, I believe it is 18% of any, anyone that goes to the emergency room. If you have Medicare, they'll take you. If you have Medicare Advantage, 18% of those are declined. Medicare, you get through. Medicare Advantage, they have to call to make sure that this will be, plan will cover what has to be done. Now, the other plan is that after a while, they'll start denying you. So here you are in your 60s, 70s with Medicare Advantage, something you did not choose, but were told you had to have, and you're getting declined from medical assistance. Isn't that pretty? It's scary. I'm not affiliated with any insurance companies. I'm not affiliated with anything like that. I know when I got Medicare, it was jumping through hoops, but I got it. The other thing is, if they do assign you and you're forced to have Medicare Advantage, you're going to have to go through hoops and pay fines and all this other stuff to try and get to Medicare, the real Medicare through the government. So that's why they're trying to eliminate Medicare. So security? That's a whole nother a whole nother ball of wax, which we'll talk about at another day. But enough of that Medicare Advantage sub plan. Soapbox. Sorry. But I don't want you to think everything is bad and gloomy and doomy and all that kind of stuff, even though I get questions like like CS. Hi Arthur, do you see the economy declining by year's end or hold still? It's not going to decline. In fact, it's going to get better. It's now people are realizing that he who shall not be named caused inflation to go to where it is. And then his cronies are keeping prices high because why lower prices if people are paying for it? They make profits. But that's going to change. Biden's going to put some rules in place mid-2025. So this price gouging has to stop, and it will. It's like he mentioned, you know, you pay the same amount of money for something, and it's less. In fact, it was, as at the store the other day, and like, here, haagen -Dazs was like $6.99. Like, That's a lot for a pint. And then it looked, 14 ounces. It's no longer a pint. It's 14 ounces the same amount of money, if not more. Crazy, right? So I feel that's going to stop. The economy is going to get better. Mm -hmm. Anne asks, what do you see with the housing market? Will interest rates come down? If so, how much? I don't know how much per se, but when? What I get here is I have realtors that are clients across the country. And I kept on reading, after the first quarter of 2025, the housing markets gets better interest rates do go down and people will be able to afford housing again. Okay. It gets better. Martha asks, will the U S dollar be replaced as a primary currency for international trade? I don't see that. I mean, maybe Russia wants you to think that or 
some people in Congress because they work for Putin or the Chinese government. What do you think that? But believe me, anywhere in this world, you show up with, a, you show up with a suitcase full of hundred dollar bills. It's a primary currency of the international making. Okay, so I don't see it going away. Now, artist asks, "Will rent prices come down soon?" I want to say yes to that, but not right away. I feel that's more twenty twenty six. But things are being placed, like in California. Um, there's a rent control bill in California. Uh, Mel asks, is, "Mel Yazas is going to pass in October?" I mean, November. I get a yes on that. So things are going to be shifting. Now, speaking of California. Garden Genie. Are you related to the Garden Gnome? Um, is government net Gatham Newsom solid or reliable? And reliable. Is he focused on the good of the people he serves or to his own gain? From what I can tell, he's not drifting. He's helping people. Now, I know there's a brouhaha with the insurance companies and all that right now, but I do feel as we get into October of 2025, there's going to be a shift about insurance in California, car insurance, homeowners insurance, and all that kind of stuff. And um, for the better for the people. And I feel he will be involved with that, believe it or not. Carol Coat. Hello, Arthur. So nice to have a solo show. Thank you. Well, Representative Mike Levin, Democrat, win his election in November for California 49th District. Thank you. You know, I looked at that. I get it razor, razor thin. And it's really, he's going to have to work for it, but I feel he gets it. Okay. I love blackberries. Yeah, especially on my oatmeal in the morning. Hi, I love blackberries. I love your humor. I would like to ask if you see the water wars in California getting better anytime soon. And will the huge tunnel project get canned? Thanks. I'm not sure about the the huge tunnel project. I'm not. But as far as water wars, things get better. Okay. Now, Envision Transformation Coaching asks, say that in one breath, will Republican... Senator Rick Scott keep his seat in Florida in the next election. I don't see it. I it, it, again razor sharp closeness, razor's edge, but no, I don't see it. Will Hakeem Jeffries become Speaker of the House before the twenty twenty four election? Yes, I've said that many times. I still see it. Who do you see the orange disgrace picking as a candidate for VP? The clone's not ready, but this is the man he wants. For entertainment purposes only. Melzi, what will the outcome of Senate investigation on Jared Kushner? Thank you. The outcome is not good for Jared. Mm -mm, nope. He may be wanting to build, you know, deluxe apartments in the sky on Gaza. Ain't going to happen. I see jumpsuit. I don't see... Both Ed. I see jumpsuit, little little slippers he has to wear. And I then see his wife come in and meet him. Him divorce papers. It's gonna be pretty. No. Patty today. Is that like Patty yesterday? Do you see Pete Buttigieg running for president again? No, I don't. I see that down the line, I did feel there's a possibility from being approached to be a VP. But for right now, I do see he will always be in government. He will always be serving the people. He's a brilliant man. He's a humanitarian. And he's going to be around for a long time helping people. Okay. Kim asked, what do you see happening with Ohio State legislator, le Legislature? Do you see Ohioans waking up to the fact that Republican state-run government is trying to rule Ohioans, not represent them? Yes, I see them waking up. I mean, look at the fact that they changed all the election laws to try and get abortion off the ballot. It didn't work. People voted. People waking up. And it's going to continue like that. Okay? 
Yay, Ohio. Eventually, Ohio is going to go purple. I know you probably think I'm on crack by saying that, but I do get that. So we'll take it from there. Now, Grandma, Mama, I'm not stuttering. It says here, Grandma, Ma, Ma. I have concerns about the Olympics and possibly possibility of terrorism. I can understand your concerns. I do get heightened security. I do get heightened um, awareness of what's going on. But I'm not seeing another Munich. Okay. Larry asks, what do you see with Victor Orban? Well, they've been protesting him. You know, he who shall not be named's best friend. Um, they're not happy with him. Do I see people with pitchforks and flames and everything chasing after him out of town? No. But I do see him going away. Believe it or not. Give it a year and a half. Two years. Most. Now here's a spiritual and ethical question. What happens to people like Trump when they pass away? Is there a special place for them? And Kimberly asks, when Putin crosses over, Will spirit toss him from a high window so he can feel the terror he inflicted on others? Well, when I looked at these questions, all I kept on thinking was Little Nicky, where Hitler was a nice warm place, wearing a tutu and had a pineapple. They will pay for what they've done. I believe some of it is part of their soul contracts because others hideous people have tried to do the same in other times and we were supposed to learn our lessons Hitler came around we were supposed to learn our lessons Trump's coming around we didn't learn our lesson but now we have a chance to listen listen and learn and I believe we end up winning so gentle whale thanks Arthur you used to binge cable news Lately, ravenously craving psychic, medium, and tarot channels for news summaries on in, in insights that contain hope. Problem is, one hope fix after another. Why am I so anxious? Is it still shifting? Please help Nervous Nelly. Well, Nervous Nelly, you're going to the negative. Shameless plug. Go to my youtube page go to the playlist for guided meditations and i have one about getting rid of stress and anxiety and relaxing listen to something like happy healthy you you're letting them get into your head this is when everyone watches the news and we all start become i've i've done this too we all start becoming chicken little running around but this is where i get the megaphone Get on top of the Beverly Center and start screaming. It's only an acorn, people. The sky is not falling. We still have to vote. Now, I've always said we have to vote like our life depends on it. And somebody actually wrote me and said, no, you're crazy. Your life doesn't. It does. It does. And finally, Brinkley, dude, I love you. For your psychic ability, yeah, yeah, sure. But most because you crack me the F up. Love shows that show only you. I want to get a reading one day, but scared I'll die laughing. Cheers and much success. Well, thank you. Well, if you do want to get a reading, let me know ahead of time. And I'll make sure that, you know, we send you the link to the defibrillators available on Amazon. We don't want you dying on my watch. And in the meantime, oh, and if anyone does want a reading, I, I'm available. I think I have, go to ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I think I have, I have availability is the end of the week. And starting next week, I'm open the week of July 1st. I'm, I'm booked. Or is it jury duty? I forget. But, um, but no, I have openings. So if you... Anybody wants a reading, check it out. But I really, we've, we've gone through a lot of stuff here today. Talked to a lot of, about political predictions, economic forecasts, and other stuff. 
The bottom the the bottom line is Elmer Fudd's one of my guys. But the bottom line is it's all about you staying focused, staying true to yourself, not getting sidetracked. These are uncertain times. But we can be certain of one thing. We can control the outcome if we're all grouped together. All right? So, as I always say, for all the MAGAs and everyone else, send them love and light until they get it right. But like I said, if there's reincarnation, they're the upgrade. <sighs> so, if you want to get a reading, I'm, I'm around. And you're not going to get... I'm not going to... You're not going to laugh to death. But also, while you're here, do me a big favor. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subs. You can only do it with your help. And hit the little bell, you know, for notifications and all that good stuff. And in the meantime, let us know what you think below in the comments. You know, let me know. I do read the comments, believe it or not. Even though I have someone that helps me, I do read them. Unless I'm told not to by someone. So share your thoughts in the comments below. All right. And as I always say, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for letting me be a part of this wonderful community. I wouldn't be here without you. And as always, take care of yourself. Take care of others. And above all, yes, stay amazing. I'm Arthur. Arthur, ease your mind. Have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>